All right, I've got the recording going. So I just wanna say hello, first of all, and welcome everybody to our webinar today. We're so excited when you take a few minutes out of your day to join us. We know you're super busy. Everybody's got a lot going on. It is a crazy time and a crazy year. So we're grateful when you take your time to be with us. If you haven't met me before, my name is Jen. I'm the Mary Kay Specialist here at Scipio. You've probably seen me before in the Zoom room or on another webinar. And we have the lovely Bianca here with us today. She's our head of marketing and just generally cheerful and wonderful to have around, to be honest with you. I just like chit chat. <laughs> so I always make her do these webinars with me. Oh, you don't make me. Somebody cool I'm, here, I'm happily with. here. <laughs> I will be here to answer chats uh, and anything in the questions. So please feel free at any moment if you have a question, drop it. I'll answer it as quickly as I can. Yep, and we're going to, um, if you've seen our, our new user webinar, that's kind of a longer demonstration. On these weekly webinars, we're, we're looking at some of the things that we're getting asked a lot of questions about. We're gonna do a brief demonstration on birthdays today, and then we're gonna leave the time open for you to ask more questions because we wanna be able to answer those questions live and personal. So um, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen with you guys. And I'm in the demo account here. I want to show you about birthdays. Okay, so one of the things I love about the Scipio service is the way to automate birthdays. And especially Mary Kay, you know that keeping in touch with those customers, um, you know, having that good relationship, keeping that reorder business thriving is so key. So touching base with people on their birthday is fantastic. And let's be honest, most of us don't remember unless we get that little Facebook pop-up in the morning that says whose birthday it is today, right? So we love that Scipio can do the work for you. So I wanna take you into the address book and let's click on the first name of a contact and look on the contact itself. This is where you can enable the ability for the system to send a birthday message automatically on your behalf. So the first thing that's really important is make sure there's a birthday here. Now, if you have um, customers and or consultants over from the integration, as long as their birthday was listed with in touch with, which with consultants it will be, customers, hopefully you've put it in there. And if it was, then it is here in your Scipio system. What you do need to do is come in on the contact and enable this send birthday greeting option. And once you do, you wanna make sure and click save so that it holds that information. Once you've done that, about 24 hours in advance of this birthday, um, the, the system will schedule a message on the calendar to send out to this contact. Now, there are a couple of different places you can put the message. So the system is first gonna look on the contact for a customized message, which you can put right here. What that means is if I put a message right here on this contact, this particular contact will receive that message for their birthday. In the absence of a customized message on the contact, the system is gonna to default to your default birthday message. So let me show you where that is. So if we go up here to the avatar, um, yours may not have a picture. If you haven't uploaded one, it might just be a little bubble with your initials. And go down to my profile, and then click on messaging. This is where the default birthday message is. Now I've filled one in here, yours will just say, um, happy birthday. The system automatically has just the term happy birthday with I think an exclamation mark and that's defaulted in your account. So that's the message that's going to send. If you don't have a customized message on the contact and you haven't altered this default birthday message, they're simply going to receive a text that says happy birthday. But you can come in here, customize this message so it's a little bit more personal. I've even included a merge tag here. I, I used the merge tag button to insert the contact's first name so it's really personal when they receive it. And I even added a cute little picture. So again, when you have that send birthday enabled, the system will first look on the contact for that customized message. In the absence of a customized message, it's going to come and use your default birthday message. And you can do both. So you can have customized messages on some contacts and not others. The ones that don't have a customized message will again, just default to the default birthday message here in the profile. Okay, do we have any questions yet? Let me just, I, I always forget to open my little chat piece here. We have a Q, okay. Is there a way to upload a picture through the app or does it have to be done on the computer? You can add a picture either, you should be able to add a picture either way. I know you can add a picture to a message. Um, I haven't tried adding it on the birthday message in the app. Bianca, do you know? 
uh, on the mobile app, you should mm -hmm. be able to do the same. Yeah, the exact yeah, same. Yeah, I think so. You I was just going to open mine up. But yes, you can add you can add images to your messages from the mobile app. Looks like we do have some chat. Okay, um, great. Yeah. yeah. So, so let's talk about the people that have come over from your integration. Let's say you have a big list of customers or you have a big list of consultants and you do need to go in and enable that birthday message to send. You can export your list from InTouch and import it into Scipio and massively select for the birthday to send through that process. Or you can go in on the individuals as they come in, as you add new customers and they sync over from the integration, you can go in on the individual contact and select it there. Either way, you do have to enable it on the contact or through the CSV upload in order for that birthday messaging to be automatic. Jen, let's uh -huh. talk about emojis in birthday messages because I know that's something that we all love to do. Thumbs up or a you know, sure. cheers for the birthday. And Nancy's asking when she adds emojis, they're coming in black and white. We do, we sh you should be able to always add color. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it, it, it should look exactly like it does if you were sending it from your phone. Right. So Nancy, when you're doing that, are you doing that from the desktop or from the mobile? I'm curious. When I'm here in the desktop, I can click on the emoji button and I'm just seeing all the regular um, color emojis. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure why you wouldn't be seeing those as well from the desktop. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's um, a setting on your browser or anything like that, but I do. I am seeing the full color emojis. Yeah, and we tried to make these look exactly as if they were coming from your phone. Can you have more than one birthday message so they can be used for different groups? So. The only two places right now that you can assign a birthday message is either on the individual contact or in that default. So if you wanted to have a certain message um, for a certain group of people, you may want to copy and paste into their custom message on the contact. So right now you either host one default message or you customize on the contact. Mm -hmm. Great. Nancy, you were adding messages to the message library. And that's when the emojis were black and white. Nancy, would you, would you, um, I'm actually gonna look and see if we can reach out and, and get you an email so we can look at that with you because yeah. you definitely Let's should be Let's pull it offline and, uh, and, and get out. You definitely should be seeing the color ones. So Nancy, we will write your name down and contact you so that we can troubleshoot that with you because we definitely see the full color here. So I want, want to make sure you're getting those too. Okay, so to clarify the default messages on my contact. Okay, so on the contact, the message is currently empty. That's where you would put the customized message. In the profile is where the default message is set. So let me take you there again just to show you one more time because there is so much to learn when you're doing a new system and getting familiar with it, so I totally understand. So again, back in the address book, when I click on the first name, it opens the contact. When I scroll down to the bottom, that'll show me the birthday, whether the greeting is enabled. And then here is where I would put a customized message that would go specifically to this person. If there's no custom message there, but I have send birthday enabled, then it's going to go to my default birthday message, which is in the profile under messaging. And you can set that default birthday message to be whatever you want it to be. Can we also default for anniversaries? We don't currently have an anniversary setting. We've heard a couple of users request that, and I know it's something that um, we've shared with our product team, so it's something that might be coming in the future. We don't have that currently set right now, but you can make a campaign for anniversaries. You can save a message library message for anniversaries, um, things like that. I know in Mary Kay it's a little bit different because you guys celebrate your business anniversary. So it's something that we haven't um, experienced with other businesses yet. So it's definitely something that our product team is looking at. So that's a great question. Yeah. Do you need to go into each individual customer to enable that birthday message or can you blink it and enable everybody? Right. So right now you do have to go into each one and, and set it. 
But with Mary Kay, because you guys have all of your um, contacts in InTouch, even though we have the integration, we don't have a one click like that says, hey, take all my integrated people and send them the birthday. Again, definitely something our product team has heard, things that they're working on. You know, the integration is brand new this year and it's been so exciting. But as you guys use the integration, you're giving us great feedback on some of the things that you'd like to see. And our product team is constantly working to bring new things to it. So that's something that we definitely um, hope to see in the future. Right now, you would need to go into each individual contact and enable that. Or as I was saying, you can export your customer or, or consultant list from InTouch, then convert it to a CSV file and upload it in Scipio. And through that upload process with the CSV, at the bottom, it gives you an option to say, send all these people the birthday message. So that's one way you can kind of get around and get them all selected at once. And it's okay to do that upload when you already have those people in your address book. It won't duplicate them. It won't mess up anything that you have in there. It's just going to um, match up that information and then enable that birth data send. I hope that answers that question. That's great. And let's talk about the calendar and how to see those birthday messages. Yes. So one thing you might do is go into your calendar and say, I don't see all of my birthday messages for the month. Why are they not all here? I know I have them enabled and I know I have people that have birthdays all throughout October. Those birthday messages are generated by the system about 24 hours in advance. So approximately 24 hours before their birthday, you will see those messages populate on the, the calendar. You're not gonna see the entire month's worth of messages at the beginning of the month because the system is constantly checking and then taking the next day's worth of birthdays and the next day and so forth. So you'll see those populate on the calendar about 24 hours in advance. Okay, the, the file, the process for the CSV uh, upload. So I'm gonna go ahead and send a YouTube link. I know that if you don't import your information directly from InTouch and you want to just upload it from a spreadsheet, um, it's actually fairly easy, but if you don't know the steps, it, it seems uh, intimidating. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, uh, link the YouTube video training we have for Great. that right there. Yes, so Nancy, that, that's for you. So she's gonna drop that video link so you can see exactly how to do the CSV upload. And it really is, it can feel intimidating if you're not familiar with it, like Bianca said, but it really is user-friendly once you get in there and try. Mm -hmm. Let's see, okay, great. Okay, did we have any questions that we didn't answer? And do you have any questions not related to worship? We're here to answer anything that you have. Did we check the Q&A? Okay, good. Great. Yep, Cassie, it is super easy to upload a CSV, which I love because I've worked with other systems where it's not super easy and, and that's hard. Okay, did anybody have any other questions before we finish? We are here for you, we're live. We would love to answer any questions that you have. I hope everybody is totally understands the birthdays and how to enable those. I know that you guys really love to reach out to your customers consistently. And we've seen people even offer some awesome specials for birthdays and things like that. So we know that you don't want to miss that. All right. Well, I think if that's it. And I just want to say too, as a part of Scipio's magic is reaching out to people in bulk, which is not a personal word, but it's doing it in bulk on such a personal scale. And there's nothing more personal than wishing somebody a happy birthday. And I have to tell you, people within our company have done this to me, added me to their birthday campaigns. And when I received that message, it actually, uh, it didn't click that it was set like a year ago. Right. <laughs> I really thought they reached out to me personally and it's, it's touching. So never, with Scipio, you will never miss a birthday again. And uh, again, we're here every week to offer these trainings to you. Head to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's at Scipio app. We have hundreds of training videos and we'll go ahead and post uh, the most relevant to our Facebook page. And this one we'll, we'll add in about 24 hours, uh, but it's there and we're here every week for you and uh, daily and zoom as well. That's right. If you haven't joined the Facebook page, please do. Um, we'll drop a link in the chat to make sure that you're a part of that. I am there in the zoom room Monday through Friday from 9am to noon mountain time. So I'm there to help you live. Um, I, we can screen share, I can demonstrate things for you. It's fabulous. So we love having that feature for you and we hope that you'll join us there. Um, bring us your questions, let us know what you're looking to see or what you want to learn. 
and we'd love to bring it to you. Again, thank you everybody so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. And we hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Thank you.